everyone my name is minisethi i hope you all are staying healthy today we are going to talk about dummy variable some variable you can easily measure in terms of number you can measure your income in terms of number you can measure price in terms of number but how you will measure gender in terms of number gender has categories like male and female how you measure marital status in terms of number it has categories like uh, single married or divorced means we cannot measure these variable in terms of number that's why these variable will be called qualitative or you can say that categorical variable and we use a dummy variable in order to convert a qualitative variable into numerical format we use a dummy variable in order to convert a qualitative variable into numerical format numerical format means in order to measure qualitative variable we will provide binary term like zero or one that's why dummy variable also known as a binary variable we can use dummy variable for both dependent as well as independent variable here you can see our independent variable is a dummy why is dependent variable income which depend on experience and gender we cannot measure gender in terms of number that's why we will provide binary term like 0 or 1 for example for male we will write 1 for female we will write 0 here our dependent variable is dummy why is consumer satisfaction you cannot measure consumer satisfaction in terms of number which depend on a quality if consumer is satisfied then we will write 1 if consumer is not satisfied we will provide 0 so here you can see we provide a binary term in order to measure qualitative variable and this will be called dummy variables now we'll see one example and formula of keeping dummy variable k minus 1 this is formula for keeping dummy variable k represent uh, categories for example in case of gender we have only two categories male and female so value of k is equal to 2 2 minus 1 is equal to 1 we will keep one variable as a dummy if we have three categories 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 we will keep uh, two variable as a dummy now we will see example we have to calculate uh, annual salary of uh, male and uh, female and uh, for female we will put 1 uh, for male we will put 0 uh, first of all we will calculate annual salary of uh, female and uh, here our dummy variable is uh, female because we are going to calculate annual salary of uh, female and beta note represent average salary of uh, male which is equal to 40000 we assume and beta 1 represent difference in average salary of a male and a female and which is equal to 5000 so value of beta note is 40000 value of beta 1 is 5000 for female we will put 1 and when we calculate it will become equal to 45000 so annual salary of female is 45000 now we calculate annual salary for a male uh, beta note is average salary of a female and beta one is difference between average salary of male and female and for male we will put zero so in place of male we will put zero it will become equal to 40000 this will be called annual salary for male so by this way we will keep dummy variable now we will see dummy variable in case of three categories formula for keeping dummy variable k minus 1 k represent categories here we have three categories that's why value of k is equal to 3 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 that means we will keep two variable as a dummy here we have three variable football cycling and running suppose we keep football and cycling as a dummy variable if we keep football as a dummy variable then other variable will become equal to 0 here you can see when football is dummy variable then football is equal to 1 and other variable cycling and running are equal to 0 Uh, second dummy variable is cycling when cycling is dummy variable then other variable will equal to zero here you can see when cycling is dummy variable then cycling is equal to one and other variables are equal to zero we keep football and cycling as a dummy variable but we didn't uh, keep running as a dummy variable that's why running will be called reference uh, category when both 
फुटबॉल एंड साइकिलिंग आर इक्वल टू जीरो दिस विल रिप्रेजेंट अवर रेफरेंस कैटेगरी मीन दिस विल रिप्रेजेंट अवर रनिंग नाउ वी विल पुट ऑल दिस वैल्यू इन दिस इक्वेशन एंड विल सी एवरेज परफॉर्मेंस इन रनिंग साइकिलिंग एंड फुटबॉल पी रिप्रेजेंट एवरेज परफॉर्मेंस ए इंटरसेप्ट X represent experience. We can easily measure experience in terms of number. So experience is not our dummy variable. We have two dummy variable D1 and D2. D1 represent football and D2 represent cycling. If both D1 and D2 are equal to zero, it will shows average performance in running. That means if we put D1 equal to zero. and d2 equal to 0 remaining equation will shows average performance in running if we put d1 equal to 1 and d2 equal to 0 remaining equation will shows average performance in football if we put d1 equal to 0 and d2 equal to 1 remaining equation will shows average performance in cycling by this way we can use dummy variable so this is all about dummy variable i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care